Hello again welcome to part 4 of Drunk on Nectar's Life as Play Grasshopper Life Cycle series this is Venu the developer of Drunk on Nectar please check out part 1 and part 2 for the female grasshopper's gameplay and part 3 for the adventures of our second generation male grasshopper so far now it's time to grow our wings find a mate and be drunk on nectar time to jump and hope i land on a leaf Uh, not quite groom myself about the groom There's a jumping spider and a tiger beetle having a bout over there in the distance that side. Let's see if I can jump over this leaf. Oh yeah, I really love that feeling when you manage to make that jump. Especially because unlike the jumping spider. The grasshopper doesn't have any uh, assist. You really need to nail the jump on your own. And it takes a bit of practice to get the hang of it. Okay, let's see if I can time this. If you manage to aim the jumps such that you land back onto the same plant, then you can uh, find your way back far easier than you would. See that? If my jump was off, I would have to climb the plant all over again. So that's a bit of advanced um, strategy for you. Right? Hopefully players will um, experience that on their own at some point. I'm having to groom myself frequently because the number of farm um, creatures is now far greater than the first generation and that's going to be a trend each generation the population is going to keep um, increasing. Right now there's no real ceiling so uh, even I have no idea what's going to happen when you go beyond third or fourth. I believe there was a player who managed to get to the fourth or the fifth generation and there's some pretty amusing screenshots on this community page you can check out. Uh, I'm leaving this plant alone. How about some grass instead? I like to settle for a plant. Up we go. I really enjoyed this upside down view of the game. You can see all the beautiful flowers at the bottom and skies. And you see the lush landscape at the top. Kind of an interesting viewpoint. Right now grooming doesn't really matter that much because most players will be able to get around without relying on the chemical trails to sniff out predators but that's what I'm trying to bridge at some point I'd like for that to actually make a big difference 
So then you'd have a dynamic where you really want to groom but you can't because there's predators out there. But you really need to groom because you can't see the predators or perceive the predators unless you groom. But anyway, I feel the Grasshopper gameplay is adequate even without all of that complexity. So I'm hoping that most players will be able to enjoy it um, in its current format. Because the game needs to move on to the Ladybug and the Dragonfly lifecycle. There's a lot of other stuff that really needs to happen. Let's jump onto that plant just for fun. And let's jump onto the sleeve just for fun. I got it right. Hmm. I think that's a bug of some sort. That leaf isn't actually eaten up. I got a bit tired of the plant anyway. See, I want to find some grass again. Alright, we're almost there. Our pink bar is filling up and soon we'll be an adult grasshopper. Oh, not if that jumping spider will have its way. I think I just saw a dragonfly carrying a jumping spider away. I'm not that worried about the dragonflies because I now have the apparatus to deal with them. These mighty legs can knock any of them out. Just like that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that because that dragonfly wasn't really going for me, but <laughs> oh well. Let's find another clump of grass. Just to remind you, when we began this game, we were a tiny little speck, a pixel, an invisible little dot at the base of the stalk, just like this one. And now we are so huge that we encompass its entire um, growth. So that is an incredible story of growth. And when you think about the fact that these life stories are playing out all around us, um, out in nature, that is something well worth pondering over. <laughs> this one doesn't stand a chance. I mean, that was a little mean. But the poor spider wasn't really trying to hurt me, but 
sometimes for the sake of gameplay you have to push things a bit. This is legit man. <laughs> So I really hope you check out the Grasshopper gameplay and uh, so you can have all this fun for yourself too. A lot of players have written back saying they really enjoy crushing predators and I've got to agree. That is one of the most satisfying parts of this update to me. That was so nice. I really enjoy the feeling of jumping from one bit of flora to another. I'm not sure if it's evident in the video but you really had to try it for yourself to experience the rush. Okay, we are brief mere moments away from turning into another grasshopper and being able to fly. But someone wants to spoil my fun. Let's see, which predator is it this time? Uh, never mind. I'm feeling a little bold so I'm going to molt right here anyway. I hear the sizzling of wings. Oh, <laughs> this is a nice little uh, screenshot opportunity. Alright, Metamorphosis, Victory, and my favorite song of the game is here again. This gives me the right stage to celebrate. And away we go. Up into the skies. Over the milkweed and the fern. free and joyous creature in nature, as we're all meant to be. Only fun and joy out here, in the glades of joy. And it's time to find a mate and have some fun. This class of was trying to spoil my fun. But that's much better. Alright, let's find maybe another mate and then let's um, conclude the video. Oh, what have we here? A jumping spider's home <laughs> being raided by a swarm of grasshoppers. And I'm apparently exhausted from mating. Also, the game tells me I have other plans. Here's another mate if I can get to her. I think a dragonfly spooked her away. Let me find out what's going on over there. There she is. Alright, 
Thus we conclude the life cycle of the second generation a male grasshopper and I think this is a great time to close the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, this grasshopper update is one of my personal favorites for the game. And I've really enjoyed it. Um, that's the reason it turned out to be this long. I was only planning a single part video but I had so much fun that I had just had to keep going on. I hope you feel the same way too when you play it and um, thanks for checking out Drunk on Nectar. Hmm. There's a lot of jumping spiders out here, that much is clear. As the game continues to grow, there's a lot more excitement headed your way. So stay tuned, subscribe to the YouTube channel, keep track of the Steam Community Hub and all the usual places. And let's all together be drunk on Nectar. Thanks a lot for watching. Hmm. I don't want to end the video here when I'm exhausted, so let's wait. Let's find a better spot. Up on top of a jumping spider's nest. Hide the herd and groom myself maybe. Maybe not. Zoom out. And this is Venu, the developer of Drunk on Nectar. You just watched Life as Prey, the life cycle of a grasshopper. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again soon.